Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in a rather wet and windy Fleetwood. Looking towards the lower lighthouse there. And I am at the tram stop here at the end of the line. Fleetwood Ferry. And we're going to take this tram here all the way to Stargate. It's the Alderman EE Wind Tram. Let's go on this tram all the way to Stargate in Blackpool. Okay, here we go, and we are off. Leading Fleetwood. I'm sorry if there's some block on the window because we've got a bit of rain. I'll do my best to keep the picture clear for you. But we're off on the way to Stargate in Blackpool. This is part two. In part one, I came from Stargate all the way up to Fleetwood, looking towards the west out towards the sea and on this one we'll, of course look under the way i'm sorry that uh, there's a bit of rain on the window i'll do my best to keep the picture clear for you there's a friendly cafe there <laughs> the amusement arcade there this is the docks the old docks where you used to get the boat over there to the isle of man and the an island the Manx, the manxman used to come into fleet the manxman yeah going past the Farage Lighthouse. You can see that in the, in the, at the end of the last video. Rain's coming down now. There's a Farage Lighthouse there, look. You can just about see it there. And now just going past all these shops here as we approach the main street in Fleetwood, which is Lord Street. Very, very quiet today. Yeah, very, very quiet in town today. See, it's, uh, if you watch the first video on the way up, it did look quite stormy and it did rain, unfortunately. We are living the dream here on the tram from Fleetwood all the way to Stargate in Blackpool. Yeah, we still got those storm clouds out there. There was a little picture there, if you want to go back, there's a, like a picture of loft houses. They were very big in Fleetwood. They make the fisherman's friend. There was a little plaque for them there back there. Didn't want to have a look back at that. A little bit of rain coming onto the window there, I'm afraid. It's just sort of making it look a little bit blurred, but I'll do my best to try and keep it clear for you. We're now on the main road, Lord Street. This is Lord Street, and as you can see, it's pretty quiet. There's not many people around. <laughs> There are not many people around in Fleetwood today. Very, very quiet. That's a church there. Catholic church. London Street. Very, very quiet in Fleetwood today. The Firelight Pub and the Weatherspoons down that road there. King's Arms Pub, looks like it used to be a bank though. We're not too far from the Affinity Outlets here. That used to be Freeport. If you want to go to the Affinity Outlets, you need to get off at Fisherman's Wharf. We're just coming up to that stop now. Need 
Docks Fish Cure is over there, that uh, big building there. Yeah, so this is Fisherman's Walk and this is where you would get off for the Affinity Outlets, formerly. Outside, please. Freeport. Press the stop button when you wish to exit the tram. Yes, we're heading all the way to start looking at all these bands here. Yeah, this is Fleetwood, these are, this is fishing industry, need Fleetwood, so there is still a bit of an industry here in Fleetwood for the fishing, yeah, all those bands there, all to do with the fishing industry, yeah, and you can actually smell the fish around this section as well, yeah, we could smell it when we were out before, yeah, a little bit industrial around here as well, this section of Fleetwood looking towards where the dock would be on the other side of here, Docks. Fleetwood Car Centre there. That's a massive place there. over the road there, I'm not sure what was there before, but uh, it's a massive area of land. Like I say, it's quite industrial around here, there's like a bus yard there, travel company, another car dealership, screw fix there. So, so Affinity Outlets are just the other side of here, the, the Affinity. It's just the other side. That's the main road over there which takes you around the back towards Blackpool. Yeah, you see all this here now? This is all Fisherman's Friend. All this here, all this factory here. Fisherman's Friend which is sold around the world. The Fisherman's Friend factory there. Now, 
in a different direction than we were on the way we came in to give you a different perspective and when we go through Blackpool we'll be looking at all the, the promenade, the Golden Mile first video we had a look at the, the sea, the seaward direction. I'll tell you what, those clouds are still looking really angry over there, aren't they? Look at that. Wow. We're now going past Rossall School, which is behind us on the other side. You can see that in the first video. We don't get a very good view of it, but Russell School is a very exclusive school, a private school up here in Fleetwood. Lots of green space around here. School, I think. A bit uh, obscured here by the fencing and the, the trees. You see, it's quite a few houses around here. We're now sort of at the south end of Fleetwood. We're now sort of moving out of Fleetwood. This is called Rossall, this area here now. So we're just at the bottom end of Fleetwood. They head all the way to Stargate, the end of the line, in Blackpool. Just crossing this road here now. Just the opposite side of me is the school. There you go. <clears throat> we're really motoring now. So we're now heading out of Fleetwood and we're really motoring now. It was just like being on a tram, but on a tram, sorry. Look at all those open fields there, eh? wow. They don't yet, but they're all this well be built on in the future. Maybe the not so distant future. Thornton area now. This is getting into the Thornton area now. Thornton Cleveland. As I said in the first video, this is a very popular place for people to come and retire here up here to uh, Cleveland. Very handy for black people on the tram, of course.
that was Cumberland Avenue, that. Here we are, we're now at Thornton. Thornton Gate. So we're now travelling through the Thornton area and we're heading towards Cleveland. This is a very popular area for retired people. There's a lot of older people that live around this area. Yeah, we're just coming towards uh, Centre of Cleveland now, Victoria Road. This is it now, yeah, here we are. And Cleveland's very, very popular area. And the shopping street, Victoria Road is very popular. So we get to see the other side of Cleveland than we did on the first video. We get to see looking the other way, we're looking towards the east this time. This is a major junction by the way. Yeah, very, very busy junction. We're just going over now. So we're looking down Victoria Road towards the east there, and as you can see, there's plenty of shops. We've also got a pub there. The, is it the Jolly Tars? I've had a spoon. Yeah. Just down there. The Vault Lounge, that's a new place there. That's a, quite a swanky looking place, that actually. The Vault when I first when I first got a car and used to go in there all the time to buy stuff. Yeah. That was a boy racer. But we're now at Anchor's Home. Anchor's Home Lane. And uh, Anchor's Home again is a very popular area with older people that like to come to retire up this part of the woods. Little Bispin. And 
and we will soon be joining the promenade where the tram track goes along the promenade. We're just making that turn now onto Queen's Promenade. Behind me I've got Anchors Home Park, which I mentioned in the first video. So we are looking a different way this time on the way back. All the way from Fleetwood to Stargate. Quite nice houses along here, detached houses here overlooking nice view for these. If you fancy one of these. We're now just about joining the the main promenade now where we can see the sea behind us. You have to watch the first video if you want to see the other way. So I filmed all the way from Stargate to Fleetwood filming the other way and I'm filming this way coming back just to give you another perspective. Some big houses here now. These houses here. What looks like a mansion. Grand houses here on Queen's Promenade. So we're now in Blackpool, we've crossed the border into Blackpool. And this is Little Bisbon. There you go. along this section of the promenade. Big block of black here, look at this. This one's called Norkeed Court. We're approaching the Norbrecht Castle. The huge Norbrecht Castle. So we'll soon be seeing the huge Norbrek Castle any second now. Home by Britannia of course and a uh, little bit of a the butt of old jokes I'd say here in Blackpool. Huge hotel, it's got a massive uh, exhibition centre as well. They have loads of events on there. I went to the Play Expo last year. I did a video on that, there you go, the Dobrek Castle. And the painting it, a, a nice sort of grey. It's kind of like a grey and dark grey colour. It used to be Magnolia, I think. Well, the car park looks pretty full, so it's people in there. There's a pub there connected with the, the Howard Trap, it's called Copper Face Jacks. Copper Face Jacks there, straight ahead. If anyone stayed at the Norbrek Castle, let me know down in the comments and what was it like? Was it good, bad or horrendous? So we've got more houses and flats along this section here now.
There's a house there right in front there now. That was for sale for almost a half a million, I think it was, that house there. Yeah, there's another grand house on the corner there. Look at that there. Wow, wow. Like I say, there's some massive houses along this part of Blackpool Promenade. Okay, so the next stop is Bishop, another major stop on this route from Fleetwood to Stargate. We've got Red Bank Road, which is a very, very popular and busy road. It's the end of the Blackpool Illuminations. If you're coming from Stargate up to here, this is where the Illuminations come to an end. And it's where you can go and get your chips at the top chippy and you can go to the Bisbon kitchen. There's loads of places on Red Bank Road where you can go. We're just coming up to that now. Here we are. This is Red Bank Road. There you are, there's the Bisbon Kitchen. Top chippy. Loads of takeaways down there. We've got the Queen's Mansions Apartments. Look at that, aren't they? Amazing. Art Deco. Hearts Amusements. Yeah. It's all happening round here in Bisbon. Oh, a pub over there called the Highlands, a Thwaites pub. The Burbage Holiday Lots there, very popular place to stay there, highly recommended, along with the Queen's Mansions. And now, something we didn't see on the first video of course is the Old Miners Home, which we're just coming up to now. So we'll get to have a look at the old miners' convalescent home, which has been turned into very fancy apartments. That's coming up next. Yeah. So here you go. This is the uh, the old miners' convalescent home. Look at that. And they added some new sections to it, either side. Yeah. There you go. I wonder if I'll be able to afford a place in there sometime. Maybe when I make my YouTube millions, what do you think? More flats here, more apartments, Queen's Court, that one there. Just coming up now on the Genting Club Casino. It used to be the Castle Casino. Here we are. This has all been done up, yeah. It's just refurbished all that there. Just recently taken all the scaffolding off it and now we've got the Hotel Sheraton. I like this part of the promenade. We've got the cabin lift behind me, which I spoke about in the first video. The cabin lift that takes you down to the the lower promenade. There's a Doric Hotel there on the right hand side. Hold tight, please. 
And now we're just going past Uncle Tom's cabin, which is now Mark Ellis showboat there. Eh? And that's, that is the Elgin Hotel, very popular with the older, older people, I think. Well, someone told me that they went in that hotel and they said it was full of old people. That was her, it's her words, her words, not mine. There's a hotel there called the Miners Hotel. That one looks empty, Checkers, Checkers Plaza, is it? Hotel. This is now the Cliffs Hotel. It's one of the biggest and grandest hotels on a Blackpool Promenade, the Cliffs. There you go, the Cliffs Hotel. But next to that, on the other side of the road, is this one here called the New Hackett's, and this one has been derelict for quite a few years now. In fact, there was a fire there. I actually filmed the fire. Yeah, there was a fire at that hotel, yeah. That's the Savoy, of course, another Britannia hotel. Maybe not quite as... Uh, a little bit more upmarket than the Norbrecht, maybe, the Savoy. Now we're coming up to Ginn Square. Ginn Square. We're going down a bit here because Ginn Square is quite low down. The roundabout here, we're low down here. Blackpool Promenade does go up and down. Can you see how they've got that fencing around the roundabout? Well, they're going to be putting something in there soon for the illuminations, yeah. There's a bit of work going on with these buildings here. Can you see, look, they're quite grand, aren't they? This, this little block here. That one's a care hole. There's a bit of work going on here to do these places. Oh, look at that there, look. Wow. We're going to be going past now the site of the old Derby Baths. This is Warley Road. And this plot of land here in front of the tram now. This is where the Derby Baths used to be, yeah? Right there in front of you now. And nothing was ever built since they were knocked down in 1990. And next to those is this hotel here, another Britannia hotel, it's the Grand Hotel. It used to be the Pembroke when it was first built and then it became the Hilton, the Stackis, and now it's, it's the Grand Hotel now. That's Derby Road. Rutland, there's the strand there. Rita chased by Alan Bradley and he got run over by a tram just over the road. There's the President Hotel. If you want to see the President Hotel, you can see it on Hotel by the Sea on YouTube. It was featured on TV, TV programme, reality TV, Hotel by the Sea. And next to the president, on the other side of that, is the, the Imperial. And this is the Imperial Hotel here. It's probably the grandest hotel on the promenade here in Blackpool, I'd say. Loads of hotels in this block here, as you can see, all different colours. We've got the Best Western on the end. Carlton Hotel. This is Pleasant Street. Hotel, 
please. So we're now really coming into Blackpool now. In some really big hotels now. This is the Claremont. And we've also got uh, Tiffany's. Bit of rain coming down again. It's not the best day today. It was very quiet up in Fleetwood. I wonder what it's like in Blackpool. Will the rain put people off? That hotel there is closed. The Parisian. That, that hotel is closed. Yeah. It's been closed for a couple of years. But we're now at Cocker Square. There used to be swimming baths here. There's the Liberties Hotel around the back there. Cocker Square. Sunny days. There's a there's a hotel there called Bowie's Lodge, which is a, a dog friendly hotel. So if you've got a dog, you might want to go to Bowie's Lodge near Cocker Square. But we're now coming down past the Metropole Hotel, which you can see on the first video. now coming into Blackpool proper. There's Woody's, that used to be a picture hall, that building there, and it used to be, um, it used to be nightclubs as well, it used to be the business and Main Street there, yeah. Scotty's got it. Soul Suite, this is Queen Street here, very popular Queen Street, very popular nightlife on Queen Street, yeah. Now we're into Blackpool proper, aren't we, look. Another old picture hall there, the 1234 cinema, that used to be Canon, Canon Cinemas. We've got the Counting House and we've now got Talbot Square and this is where the trams will be going up that way there, can you see? Oh, the trams will be going up there to the North Station. It's taken a long time. Sorry, the rain's coming down again, it's, it's just affecting the, the glass. I'll do my best to try and keep it clear, but that's Talbot Square. Clifton Hotel, or it used to be the Clifton Hotel, it's now the Four Shores Hotel. The Ace is there in the Feldman's Arcade building. Eden 2, a lap dancing club. Robert's Oyster Rings. Look at that there. North Pier, yeah. You can see the North Pier in the first video. Just over the road we've got Revolution Bar. That building that's decked out in scaffolding has Revolution on the, it's actually really good, Revolution is a really good uh, bar, I went in there the other week, it's really really good. Okay, so we're now about to go past Blackpool Tower. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you the tower, but you'll get to see the building. There's a Fever Bar and the Vegas Diner. I've done a video on that. Hole in the Wand, a new attraction, golfing, Harry Potter style. Harry Ramsden's, of course. This is a tower building now. We've now got Blackpool Tower. Yeah. There you go. Now just about to go past the Woolworths building, built in 1938. Albert and the Lion by the Spoons on the ground floor there. They've also got a Sports Direct. That's the Sands venue over there. It's supposed to be the Spyglass Bar as well. They're supposed to be opening the Blackpool Museum in there, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen. But uh, We'll have to wait and see, but uh, work seems to have been held up on this Sands venue. Yeah, but they do have a couple of businesses in there. Just 
going past Coral Island. That's Coral Island, of course, been going for a long time. And that used to be where Central Station used to bring all the people into Blackpool. Coral Island was right where the entrance was. Oh, it's looking pretty busy here now. The Golden Mile Amusements used to be Mr. B's back in the olden days and used to have rides in there as well. I'm not sure if they have rides in there now. The Sea Life Centre, of course. And this arcade here now, Funland, was my favourite, was my favourite arcade back in the olden days. Barry Noble's Funland. You can just about see the old police station around the back there as well. Which is due to be knocked down for an all new entertainment centre. It went a bit wonky there, so I'll try and straighten it up for you. <laughs> so we're now just going past the waxworks, of course, as you can see, we're just near Central Pier as well. We're busy around this part of Blackpool Promenade. Quite busy on the tram now. That's where Lewis Two Swords used to be. Remember Lewis Two Swords? Yeah, that's Chapel Street. One pound burger is just down there on the right hand side. Dale Street, if you, if you fancy a one pound burger, it's just down there on the right hand side. Another big arcade here. Silcox Fun Palace, the last part of the sign by the look of it. Pat's 10p bingo! On the corner there, look at that there. Who fancies a bit of Pat's 10p bingo? Now there used to be a lap dancing bar there. I'm pretty sure, it's your gaiety. Pretty sure that that was once a time gap. It was a lap dancing bar, yeah. Back in the 90s. Maybe a bit later than that. Now you see this building here, the Foxhall, the Foxhall pub. That was where one of the first buildings, substantial buildings ever in Blackpool, it was called Fox Hall and it was built by the Tilsley family and the road behind that was named is called Tilsley Road that's named after the Tilsley family who built Fox Hall one of the first substantial buildings ever in Blackpool That's the Craggy Don Hotel there. There's the Royal Sea Bank. These are Black. That's the Blackpool Promotions Hotel. That one there. They own quite a few hotels. Blackpool Promotions. This is Manchester Square. Manchester Square. Got the Manchester pub here. Little hotels, the Dutchman Hotel there. The Dutchman. There's a couple more hotels that look empty. This one here, the Kensington. That one looks like it's not open. And now we're coming up to the Lindin Hotel, one of the most popular hotels here in Blackpool. It changed hands a few years ago used to be owned by the Young family. Now it's in the hands of a Singaporean group. And that same with the St Chad's, this one here, they own this one as well. And they're looking to knock this one down and build an all new hotel. Yeah. So we're now at St Chad's Road. The Royal Carlton Hotel there. Lots of other little hotels in between here. Plenty of places to get fish and chips as well. Look at that there, the Cod, well, the 
That looks fairly new, that place, you know. I think it's new. Yeah. yeah. It does. There's another fish and chip restaurant here, which is Mother Hubbard's. Yeah. Mother Hubbard's very popular. There's Yates's South Shore. Yates's closed down earlier this year and they're hoping to reopen again under new ownership. More fish and chips there, we're coming up all that. You see that, that steelwork over the road? That's supposed to be an easy hotel which never opened, and never got going. Yeah. That's supposed to be an easy hotel, but they never finished it. Don't know why. So we're now at Waterloo Road. We've got the Dutton Arms pub here. I went in there for the first time just the other night. There you go. We've got Notary on his Isis just down there on Waterloo Road. McDonald's of course. So we're now approaching the South Pier, which you can see on the first video. This is the Queen's Hotel, once owned by the Mancini's. Rudy and Pat. The Viking Hotel. And the talk of the coast. Just down there is a back street called Montague Street and that's where Blackpool South Police Station used to be before they closed it. And now we're coming up to Station Road which is opposite the South Pier. And we're looking towards Pablo's there, another famous ice cream place and fish and chips there. That's looking down Station Road. The trams used to go down there, Station Road. We're looking now towards the Velvet Coaster pub, which used to be the Lucky Star. That's the Weatherspoon's, Weatherspoon's Velvet Coaster. It used to be the Lucky Star Amusements, and it has been featured on TV. There was a TV show about it. Uh, a drama series. We're getting close to the pleasure beach now. This is pleasure This is the White Tower at the Pleasure Beach. Blackpool Pleasure Beach. There we are. Here's the big one roller coaster. This is the turnaround here. This is built in 1994 and it was the tallest in the world for two years after it was built. I don't even think it's in the top 30 now. <laughs> yeah. This is Ocean Boulevard. All this was completed in around about 2000, the millennium. All these shops in front of the Pleasure Beach. It used to be all open. You used to be able to see right into the Pleasure Beach. But then they built this. All these shops here. Ocean Boulevard. And that road there, that tunnel, you see down there, goes right underneath the Pleasure Beach. It's called Watson Road. So the Pleasure Beach used to be split into two sides of Watson Road, and then they eventually built over the top of it and created that tunnel. So we're just going past the Boulevard Hotel now, which is one of Blackpool's newest hotels. 
Boulevard Hotel, there used to be a pub here called The Star. Do you remember The Star? The Star Pub it stood right there. Now it's a hotel. It's got the big blue hotel down there, of course. And now we're on New South Promenade now, getting close to the end of the line, Stargate. On this ride from Fleetwood to Stargate in Blackpool. Final bit now, and we're looking towards one of these little crescent parts of the promenade here. We're looking towards the Kimberley Hotel. That's the Kimberley. It's been closed for years. It's been closed since 2014. Yeah, I think the council closed it down. And you see that one with the blue bottom to it? That's a wall door. And I believe both of them are for sale together. Hopefully, someone will buy them and probably knock them all down and start again, like they have done with this one here. Can you see? Um, that's the Hampton by Hilton and you can see they're extending it they're extending the hotel so see they're investing in Blackpool how about that and we're hoping that someone will come along and buy the Kimberley and the Waldorf and do the same on the other side this is a Sol Solaris Centre we're just opposite the famous mirror ball now which you can see in the first video this is a Solaris Centre got some posh flats here called Coastal Point if you fancy one of these places here. Outside, please. Got a nice penthouse on the top. We're now up to another crescent here now. Another little present with like, uh, they've both got like a little bit of a green bit in front, like a lawn. There's the Carousel Hotel. Next to that is a new Mayfair, which is actually the first hotel you come to if you're coming from the south. But that's not open. It's not been open now for a couple of years, actually. Yeah. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. This block of flats here, I remember when they were all brick. And they had them all rendered. That must have cost a fortune to do that, wasn't it? Yeah. But we're getting very close now to the end of the line. Stargate. Going round the final bend now on the journey from Fleetwood to Stargate on the Blackpool tram. And I hope you like this video. If you haven't seen the first one, check it out. I'll put a link to that at the end and also in the description. But this journey is now over. We've made it all the way from Fleetwood to here at Stargate in Blackpool. I hope you enjoyed the ride, and if you do, don't forget to hit the like button and also hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is the end of the line. So there you go, we're now here at Stargate. We travelled on the Alderman Double E Win tram. And I'll just show you around now. We're here at the arch. This is the archway here the beginning of the Blackpool Illuminations. We made it all the way from Fleetwood here to Stargate. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and don't forget to tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one.